Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome to my channel Understand Tech here. In this video, I am going to discuss about an operating system and a graphical user interface and command user interface it provides to operate a computer. So without further ado, let's start. You must have heard the term operating system. What's shown in this diagram are various types of operating systems. In your computer, most probably you have Windows 10 or 7. Windows is the most widely used operating system. But there are many other operating systems besides Windows. Before Windows, there was MS-DOS. MS-DOS is a type of operating system in which you use a computer by typing commands. Um, if you use Apple computer, it will have an operating system called Macintosh or called Macintosh. Then there are different versions of Linux and Unix. You must have surely heard Android. It is also an operating system, but the one which is uh, used in mobile phones. Operating system is the main software in a computer. It is the first software that starts when we open a computer. In fact, operating system it starts and it is operating system that makes it possible to start and use other software like Microsoft Word, Google Chrome, etc. etc. When we shut down a computer, the reverse is the case. All other software that we are using close and in the end operating system closes. Even from the name operating system itself, it is clear that it is a software which makes it possible to operate a computer. So operating system does so many things in a computer, often in the background, but here I am Focusing mainly on one thing, interface, one of the things you say operating system does is it provides interface to use computer or it is an intermediary between hardware and software. Well, what does it really mean? Let's continue. Think about operating crane. Here, a crane operator does things by directly touching or interacting with different parts or hardware of a crane. Is there a monitor or a screen in a crane where a crane operator can click on with a mouse and crane operates? Well, obviously no. So, in case of a crane, a crane operator or user directly interacts with hardware. So, you have direct interactions between user and hardware. Now, compare this to operating a computer. Here, a computer user don't do most of the things by directly touching or interacting with hardware. Uh, let me give you an example. How can you keep documents in your hard disk? You might say, well, I'll click on here and then I'll click on this picture. So whatever I put here will be stored in hard disks. But think about this. Here you haven't touched or interacted with a physical hard disk. If you open a computer, this is what it looks like. And this is what a hard disk looks like. However, most people don't know this detail. So, without knowing where physically hard disk is, what it looks and how it works, you have placed documents in a hard disk. So here, you don't have a direct interactions between a 
user and hardware. Compare this with earlier example of crane where there was a direct interactions between user and a hardware. In computer, a user clicked on graphical elements which we call interface. Clicking on interface cause hardware to spring into action. So, in a computer there is an indirect interactions between user and hardware. Various things like this, this or this. Clicking on which causes hardware to spring into actions is called collectively called interface. Since everything in this type of interface has graphical element, it is a graphical interface or GUI in sort. Putting documents in a hard disk is just one example. Think of all the different things you do in computer. To do almost all of those things, in the middle you have got interface. You click on interface, that causes actions to occur. But all these interfaces are provided by whom? It's operating system that provides all these interfaces. Now think about this. What happens if you know OS does not provide interface? If OS does not provide these icons, how would you see what's in your pen drive? Or if this icon was not present, how do you put documents in a hard disk? It becomes almost impossible to operate hard disk and pen drive. In fact, if operating system does not provide interface, it almost becomes impossible to operate computer. This is why operating system is given name operating system. It is the one that makes it possible to operate a computer. Before we said this, there is a user graphical interface and a hardware. But not only a graphical interface, you could have a user command interface and a hardware. In a graphical interface, you click on graphical elements and that causes hardware to spring into action. In command interface, you type commands and that causes hardware to spring into actions. Let me show you how we can do few things in a command interface. For example, to see what's in a hard disk, you can type command Okay, so these are the things that's in C drive. To make a new folder or directory, uh, you can type command. So as you can see, a new folder is created in C drive. Similarly, to make file, you can type command As you can see, a uh, new file, file1.txt is created here. Uh, if you want to see IP address of your computer, you can type command Okay, so this is the IP address of my computer. 
Similarly, if you want to shut down computer, you can type command shut down. So you get the sense. Uh, whatever you can do in a graphical interface, you can also do things in a command interface. Again, the question is, who provides this capability to type commands and do things in a computer? It's operating system. So, operating system provides a graphical and command interface to operate and do things in a computer. Even though you could operate a computer either through graphical or command interface, given a choice, um, almost everyone will pick a graphical interface. In comparison to a command interface, a graphical interface is easier and intuitive to use and frees users from memorizing lots of commands and their syntax or rules to use them. Today, we almost always operate a computer using a graphical interface. But a command interface was developed before graphical interface. And for a quite long time, uh, people operate computer using command interface. But of course, once a graphical interface came, the things was almost over for a command interface. Almost all people started doing things in a computer using a graphical interface. One of the advantages of the command interface is uh, it requires less processing power and uh, memory than a graphical one. And as earlier computer didn't have a larger processing power and memory, a uh, command interface would run more easily and smoothly in them. That's why um, in the beginning, uh, when computer didn't have a lot of processing power and memory, a uh, command interface was widely used. So how was today's video? Please uh, leave your comments and suggestions below. I will be posting videos like this on various topic related to computer technology. Uh, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit like buttons and share this video. So, this was for today. Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you in next one.